Get your school holiday football fix these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au. It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia, with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location. Strength for Life is a individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life. Um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures.
Hello, good evening and welcome to Adelaide City Park for round four of the men's REA MPL South Australia. Tonight here between FK Biograd and Adelaide City. silence paid there for Ashley Young a member of the Adelaide City community who passed away last year from an asthma attack raising awareness towards it and if you can go to Adelaide City's social media pa pages and please donate any way you can in memory of Ashley Young saw a few of the girls in the WMPL game wearing purple ribbons in their hair <laughs> captains Nicholas Bucco and Michael Jacobson for the coin toss with refereeing staff Lean Miller, Dion Turner and Paula Olandi I'm your commentator Sabineau joined by David Grant. David, lovely to see you again for another week. Yes, good to be back. Um, we had a bit of a week off, didn't we, last week because of the cup round, so uh, nice to be back on board and uh, working hard, as we always do here. Um, but I'm looking forward to this. This is um, Adelaide City fourth on the table versus uh, FK Belgrade, who sit eighth. Both of them have scored seven goals. Uh, Beograd a little bit lower down the table as they've also conceded seven, so they have a goal difference of um, zero. Whereas Adelaide City's defence has been a little bit more miserly, only conceded three in uh, the three games so far. So uh, I think this game will be a little bit closer than the league table positions might suggest. We'll go through those starting lineups for the home side. Number four, Akok Arok. Number five, Karen Stokes. Number seven, Daniel Brassan. Number 10, the captain, as ever, Nicholas Bucco. Number 14, Adam Pichineri. Number 22, Juan Gutierrez. Number 23, Yawid Aratau. Number 25, Luis Laurie Latanzio. Number 27, Harry Thomas. Number 33, their goalkeeper, Dakota Oxenham. Number 77, Peter Akot, with head coach, Paul Pezos. Going to FK Beograd, starting in defense with number two, the captain for tonight, Michael Jakobsen. Number four, Damian Luic. Number five, Adam Leon Bruno. Number seven, Massimo Falco. Number 10, Anthony Tromboli. Number 13, Josh Kavanagh in goals. Number 14, their striker, Craig Shearer, scored a hat-trick the week before in the Australia Cup. Number 15, Sebastian Good. Number 16, Alexander Banjak. Number 17, Jason Constantopoulos. And number 22, Froba Neonkoru with head coach, Adrian Deloya. All set. Almost for kickoff here. Yeah, we just got a little bit of a check and uh, to the goal on our far right. Um, the linesman's just checking the goal netting has maybe been a little bit uh, insecure, maybe come insecure from uh, the game before this. There was a, a, a women's game, a women's Premier League match between uh, Adelaide City, the host side, and uh, and Sturt. And... Um, there were a few goals in that one, and uh, maybe the, the nets come a little undone as a result of, of that. So just a bit of a delay while we wait for that net to be fixed. 
Someone's going to have to go into their tent bag and get those pegs again. <laughs> <pegs you get. laughs> Hammer them all in. We'll keep you updated with the scores from around the grounds. The four games for tonight. Adelaide Comets versus Parrot Hills Knights. Only five minutes in, but Comets already with a 1-0 lead coming off that 3-1 win against Tea Tree Gully. In, a 4-1 win, sorry, against Tea Tree Gully in the Australia Cup. Over 30 minutes in at TK Shuttle Reserve. Med Metro and Modbury 0-0 nil -nil at 32 minutes and just at halftime between South Adelaide and Adelaide Croatia Raiders. one all as it stands. The two games for tomorrow, Croydon versus Adelaide United and the night game, Adelaide Olympic versus Campbelltown City. It's your men's action for the weekend in the MPL as we wait to get underway here and I think we are just about ready. for some Friday night football under lights here at Adelaide City Park. It'll be Craig Shearer to get us underway, fresh off that hat trick in the Australia Cup. Had that game against Parry Hills East, the amateur side, where he came into the starting 11 and immediately made a huge impact for Beagrat. Yeah, he certainly did make a bit of a name for himself or, or make the name stick out, didn't he, with, a, with his performance in that Australia Cup game the other week, so, uh, or last week. So um be interested to see if he can uh, capitalise on that and carry that uh, performance through to this league game, eh? Adelaide City coming off a 2-1 win against South Adelaide in the Cup as well, a lot closer than their Round 1 meeting earlier on in the season. You see Michael Jakobsen the Danish international and the captain for tonight's match. Missing the header there is Damian Lewic. Beigrad had a mixed start of the season so far. Only one win in the league without 5-1 win against Adelaide Olympic. Other than that, perhaps coming 3-2 Surprise loss to South Adelaide in that first game, losing 3-0 to Metro. Whereas Adelaide City only suffering a stutter against Adelaide Comets, 1-0 week before last. Against that Comets side who dare to not concede in the league. Absolutely, they have a very good um, defensive record in the league, don't they? Maybe not so much in the cup. <laughs> but... Um, they haven't conceded a league goal yet, so. Um, but we watched them two weeks ago, and uh, that defence, as I say, well marshaled, well disciplined, and well structured, and um, going about their defensive duties uh, in a very professional sort of manner. So, um, yeah, I think we sort of remarked that uh, if they did concede, it might come from a set piece and not maybe from open play. And I think the goal they did concede in um, in their cup game last week was a was a result of a penalty. So, uh, Adelaide City now build up in the left hand side. Laurie Latanzio with the ball on the right now. Makes his way into the penalty box to get his cross in. Laurie Latanzio. Back with Gutierrez. Just an update from around the grounds as well. In the 35th minute. After what looked like to be, how's this David, an indirect free kick. There was a red card for Mowbray Jets and now a penalty. Oh, right. For Metro Stars, for their possibly to go up 1 0. It'll be Hamish Gow to take that one. So, an indirect free kick, you said, but I a penalty indirect, as well. Indirect free kick, and then I think somehow I haven't seen it in its total. No, of course not. In its totality. I shouldn't put you in the spot like that. It's a bit unfair of me. But it'll be Hamish Gow to take that penalty for Metro against now what will be a 10 man mod break. Hey, go on. Hey, go, hey. Hamish Gow scoring that one for Metro and getting them 1-0 up. Decent looking little crowd down there as we look at our little video screen here. Eh? Anyway, back to our game. It's Bressan with the corner. Delivering in. Headed away only as far as Daniel Bressan putting the cross in again at the back post. Yeah, Nick 
Puka a bit frustrated with himself. He didn't get off the ground there, did he? It all came to him very quickly. Maybe didn't have a chance, but um, but uh, yeah, first uh, I suppose clear cut chance really. I suppose to Adelaide City from that corner. Clear foul there and a free kick for F. Hebiagrat. As we said, this game part of that double header with. WNPL 4 0 win for Adelaide City against newly promoted Sturt Lions in their only their second game in the WNPL as this ball comes in. Cleared away only for the corner. Just to finish off, yeah, that 4 0 win for Adelaide City after coming off 2 2 draw with Adelaide University last week in the WNPL. A great result for them. Yeah. I'm sure they'll want to make it six points from six with yeah. the men's team as well. Entertaining game as well. Yeah, it was good to watch. Corner for FK Beograd. In swinging. Across the face of goal. Ball coming in. Shearer unable to get the touch off. Still battling for it. Strong there. Booker. Well done there by Robert Neon Crew. Adelaide City with a player on the ground now. Yeah, I think it's uh, Harry Thomas as a result of the clash with uh, Craig Shearer. Strong challenge that was, to be fair. You can hear it from here. <laughs> it was. Hopefully he's all right, but yeah, meaty challenge that, so. So a bit cooler this week than, what, two weeks ago we were out in our shorts and <laughs> here we are in uh, a cold Friday oh night. I know, I, I mean, it's not quite winter yet, you know, we're sort of in the autumnal season here in South Australia and, um, you know, it's not cold cold yet but uh, certainly the first sign of a sort of cooler night isn't it when, I, think, uh, I think the last time we were here it started bucketing down from memory yeah yeah <laughs> it was it's pretty unbearable for us to I, I haven't quite dried out from that <laughs> six months ago uh, people think this is a glamorous lifestyle that we lead don't they <laughs> might notice as well for FKB grad they're missing Jared Clark and not due to injury or suspension but to international duty I know for Vanuatu that's quite something isn't it I mean you know okay the Oceania competition maybe doesn't carry the same weight as a European one but uh, no, it's great that we've got himself as well as two others um, away in international duty you know for um, uh, must be Oceania qualifiers, is it? Because it's not World Cup qualifiers, is it? Uh, it could be World Cup. Oh, actually, it might be, yeah, because the Australia Lebanon game yeah. last night was a World Cup qualifier, wasn't it? I'll have to double check that. Yeah. But it looks like young uh, Harry Thomas is maybe. Is maybe uh, he's at the sideline there, so uh, they're just trying to have a bit of a discussion as to whether he continues or not, but he, he limped off fairly heavily. Ball with captain for tonight, Michael Jakobsen. A pretty big name when it comes to NPL football, you have to say, a Danish international. Formerly of Adelaide United, Melbourne City. Had a spell at PSV from memory. Yeah, it's quite a CV, isn't it? Quite a CV, and I don't think he's just uh, Harry Thomas is just coming back on for Adelaide City there as we talked about Jakobsen, but yeah, I mean a, a significant number of caps I think for the Danish national team as well. With FK Bergrad lining up with four at the back, a very clear four at the back, and it looks like maybe two holding midfielders, two sixes as they say. Um, but these players don't stay still. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to get the, <laughs> the formation exactly right. But they keep moving about. Brasan. That's a great ball. Yeah, lovely ball. For Peter Akot. 
Turns one way, then the other, trying to put the ball in, blocked off by Massimo Falco. Yeah, good block by Falco. He had to, yeah, had to be sure there, didn't he? Two games against South Adelaide and then the winner against Parra Hills Knights did the centre back. Ball over the top for Laurie Latanzio. Gets the touchdown eventually. Brassant. Gutierrez. Unable to keep it in. Difficult bounce, wasn't it? Um, for him, but uh, <laughs> Jack. well cut out there by Peter Acott, needs to go again, does so. Goes for the goal kick. Seb Good just having a chat with Adrian Deloya. Yeah, hat trick here a couple of weeks back against Adelaide Olympic. One of the first players to get a hat trick, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, in this season. I don't mean ever. <laughs> He's invented it. Cashier <laughs> 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 uh, quite got his glancing header right there, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be a target man for the headers, and he, he gets up to them quite well, but he hasn't had a lot of players running off him yet, so he's, he's been up there, maybe glanced two or three headers on, um, but not had a player running on yet, so they've, uh, they'll need to try and get that fixed, otherwise there's no point, they might as well hold it up. Michael Jakobsen. Seb Good. Making the run for himself. Trying to put the ball into the centre. Craig Shearer on the edge of the box. And I'll tell you what, he has a strike on him. Yeah. Nice turn and shot, and a hit with the left foot there, just a little bit wide of the mark, but he certainly demonstrated that they'll need to watch him when he's at the edge of the box. He's uh, obviously not a tap-in kind of guy. He <laughs> likes to be a few yards out. No, a nice turn and shot, and got onto it well. Uh, very good things about the striking capability of Craig Shearer, as you said. Doesn't seem like the type of player to just score tap-ins. More than happy to have strikes like that from range and fair enough when you can get that close yeah <laughs> get to Kavanaugh <laughs> playing himself into a little bit of trouble there FKB Grad. Yeah, and in the end he cleared it anyway so you do wonder if maybe the clearance initially would have been the, the best thing to do Okay. 
Ball over the top. Peter Akot. Getting forward. Could get the finish. Well done there. To get the ball away from Nicholas Buko by Neon Kuru. Sorry. <laughs> he got the clearance wrong, didn't he? <laughs> didn't he? <laughs> Can't leave that ball for someone else. It was Laurie Latanzer, but only got to Josh Cavanaugh. Sorry, yes, jo yeah, Josh Cavanaugh. Sorry, I got my players confused. That's okay. I'm to the best of us. <laughs> I get my family members confused sometimes, <laughs> mate. Opportunity brewing for Adelaide City. Out wide. Gutierrez putting the ball in, headed away. Apatou. The right idea there from Preston. I like that little chip over the top. It just needed a little bit more, didn't it? Shearer, touchdown not good enough. Adelaide City back with it. Goes through with Pichoneri. Abitou. Well done by Abitou. Just to hold off the ball as Juan Gutierrez came in for that. He's a graceful looking player, Abitou. That was a, you know, a graceful looking player. Nice movement off the ball as well to, to get it when he got up front there. So. Laurie Latanzio, former Campbelltown Melbourne Victory player, spent some time with the Adelaide United youth system as well. Nice feet. Lovely quick balls there from Adelaide City. Low cross, comes to nothing, Tromboli just needing to clear. Side of the football there to Oxenham. Just under 20 minutes in here at Adelaide City Park. Half time at two other games 1 1 between South Adelaide and Croatia, and 1 0 the way of Metro against Montreal. Surprising at this level to see players not playing to the whistle, you know it you know it, it kinda did look like it might have been a foul off the ball. But um Paulo Tanzo and Gutierrez both stopped waiting for a whistle that wasn't coming. Poor head up. Right to Nicholas Boko, one person you don't want to have the ball. Oh, bit of a mess there. Just clearing the ball forward. Only to get to his opposing keeper, Oxenham. This modern technology is amazing, isn't it? Having all of these games right in front of you in a stream like that. Back in my day, you had to phone everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and then they might not answer because there might not be somebody in the canteen at the time. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's great that you've got that we can uh, track the, the, the progress scores in other matches in, in real time. Straight 
strong efforts being put in there by both sides to try and win the ball back. Yeah, eventually cleaned up by uh, Adam Lee and Bruno, but there was some quick feet there on both sides, you know, when it comes in quickly like that, you can appreciate how, f how fast it is, you know. Um, nice open game so far, I can't believe it's already been 25 minutes. It's flying by. 20 minutes. Ad adding five minutes, a bit too much, but <laughs> still gone very quickly to be fair. Didn't you say it was 20 minutes, five minutes ago though? I don't know what they said to me. Anyway, <laughs> we're 20 minutes in. <laughs> Jakobsen. So for me, I mean, a quarter of the way in, uh, I sort of feel that um, I think City have maybe been marginally better. I don't know a lot of the stats, but I think they've maybe had a little bit more possession. And the ball seems or feels to me as if it's been uh, up in the FK Beograd half more often than it's been back down in Adelaide City's side. Yeah, from memory, the, the one big chance I can remember that Helio having was that Craig Shearer strike. Other than that, not too much has happened. We did have a corner up the other end as well, though, didn't we? Um, when Nicholas Bucco had a half chance, I suppose you see, you know, the ball sort of flew over his head from the corner. But um, yeah, not a lot of opportunities in that final third. But certainly the build-up on both sides, uh, from both sides, has been good. You know, they found the sp they found space quite well in midfield, and movement off the ball has been good. Um, but no goals so far. Just not quite getting it together when they get when each team, I think, get into that the penalty box into that final third. A nice open game, you know. That could be great. Wanting to get away. Has options on the left and the right. It's cut out in the end by Karen Stokes. Yeah, I think it was David Lewis that had the run through the middle there. Um, good strong run but uh, nothing's come of it and another chase Peter Acott oh. still going after it oh. Oh. no foul says the referee either well done good ball for Booker. Somewhat sarcastic applause coming from the <laughs> FK Beograd support there for uh, Nicholas Bucco's efforts up front. I'm saying it quietly in case they can hear me, but um, just a couple of wayward passes in that last passage of play after sort of saying or commenting on how tight uh, both both teams had uh, been playing, and just a couple of loose balls there that uh, passes that didn't quite make their target. Good footwork there by Leon Bruno, still with the ball, taking the ball out to the wide right. under a bit of pressure here all they can do is clear I wouldn't mind touch the ball right now just keep me warmed up be a guy are doing well when they're under attack so, uh, pretty solid at the back you know That's the name of the game, isn't it? Back with Kavanaugh. Oh, frustration here. Ball out wide with FKB Grat. Sebastian Good making his way into the penalty box. 
Still working out for Biergrad. Just Tate. slowly building, yep. Yeah. Oh. 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 That looks a lot more dangerous than it actually was. I think <laughs> it looked like it was curling to the top corner, but in, in I think the fact, pace was there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it had no pace. It just sort of floated in, so it was easily dealt with by Dakota Oxenham in the Adelaide City uh, goal. I'll tell you what, the groundsman's uh, at Adelaide City should be commended because that pitch is in absolutely perfect condition. I mean, we've been here before a few times, and later in the season. As happens to most pitches, there'll be a little bit of wear and tear, but uh, this time of year, a lot of pitches look good, but this is just superb. It's, uh, there's not a single weed out there. No, it's, uh, it's in really good nick. Great to see. And a lovely ball there, not offside, as protested by the FKB grad bench. Must have been close the way. Here's Buko on the right. Cleared into the construction site next door. Yeah. The... The one is of the MPL. One week you're playing at High and Marsh. The other, you've got a construction site next door. Yeah. Back in my day, there'd be about four kids over there getting the balls, bringing them back and charging you twenty pounds for their return. <laughs> Forty dollars, I should say. Sorry. So Bressan for Adelaide City making his way over to the corner. It'd be a left-footed corner, I would say. Right-footed corner. Same, same, but different. <laughs> Bressan. On the Adelaide City corner. In swinging. Foul on Booker. Wanting to take it quickly. Just as well as a foul because it would have been a clear hand ball if, <laughs> if it had been play on, wouldn't it? This is a good spot they've got here. You know, they're sort of, the angle's perfect. They've got a, a good distance out, but. Um, they are setting a wall up. I was a bit surprised. I thought maybe they would just have one person there or maybe two, but uh, they've got four in the wall, uh, FK Beograd, and um, good spot for a free kick here. But play has been delayed. We have a, a man down. Sending out an SOS to the bench. Just another score update down at South Adelaide. Second half has commenced and South Adelaide are now 2-1 up against Adelaide Croatia Raiders courtesy of JJ Rideout. Since he's come back certainly has made a difference to that South Adelaide side. Absolutely, yeah. One of our uh, colleagues, Mark Talbot, I mean he just won't stop going on about JJ <laughs> Rideout, really, to be honest. But so, uh, yeah, no yeah, doubt fair we'll hear enough, it. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So no doubt we'll hear it from him this week. But yeah, no, that's... Uh, so that's 2-1, did you say? 2-1, yes. Yeah, 2-1 for um, South, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I haven't got my glasses on, mate. Can't <laughs> make it out. Um, South have certainly turned it around from their, from their opening first few games. I think uh, they've, they've looked like they'd be a side that would struggle all year based on their first two results, but they've certainly turned it around. And uh, Yeah, so 2-1 uh, up down there. Still just a way to take this free kick as the... And, and Croatia Raiders started well as well. They had a good start to the year. Yeah. Sorry, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> if we're not here to talk, what else are we supposed to do? Well, that's true. <laughs> that's why we get paid so much. Isn't it? <laughs> anyway. Adam Pichoneri to be on this Adelaide City free kick. FK Beergrad made a slight adjustment to the wall. I think the four or five originally lined up. They've reverted down to three. So this should be a ball, you think, just outside the penalty box at head height. You think that's what they're going to do. Just under half an hour in, Adelaide City looking to get the open up for this one. Silent, isn't it? <laughs> Ball coming in. Perfect spot. Bad luck. Laurie Latanzio at the back, I think. But a uh, great free kick by Piscinari in just the right spot, wasn't it? Just too far out for the keeper to get to and just uh, out to the back there where uh, 
actually Laurie Latanzio almost looked like he might have been unmarked do you think he should have done better or is that not your position to say is that, <laughs> is that down to me to say it <laughs> <laughs> you'd like to think you'd get it on target though if, if you've got a free kick and the goal like that you know and nobody will you but maybe I'm being a bit harsh it's a lot easier when you're sitting up here watching right <laughs> Ball out on the wide left, headed forward, need to be recovered by Ashkay Beograd. All the way back to Joshua Cavanaugh. What? <laughs> Sorry for my involuntary noise there. That <laughs> Feels like I got a bit, I got a bit startled there. <laughs> came across. We nearly get taken out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Jakobsen. How good, how good's that for defending? He's uh, got his foot to the ball and it didn't even look like it would be possible. So, superb defending. And he's cleared it. I mean, Adelaide City have come away with possession. They haven't won the FK Beograd, haven't won the ball. But um, that was superb. Abitur with the ball now. As Adelaide City looked to try and build. Viscaneri now with the ball for Adelaide City. Jared Abitur. In the centre, back to Piscineri. Receiving it once again in that back line. Out on the wide left. Jakobsen. the ball out wide switching the play doing as a captain does getting the little things right looks like as well Adelaide City getting ready a sub in Fergus Lynch an early one Robertney on Kuru to Leon Bruno. Twisting and turning. Leon Kuru with it. Central now. Mudluic. Out wide. Wasted opportunity, nice build up, and it kind of came to nothing, unfortunately. So, uh, there's that substitute for Adelaide City. Fergus Lynch coming on as early substitute in the 30th minute. Let's we'll score up that equalizer for Adelaide Croatia Raiders, making it 2 2 down at South Adelaide. Tight contest going on down there. Good battle there on the close side. Well done by Liam Bruno. Wasn't solid a challenge. Has PFK be a guy come away with it? Constantopoulos battling. Kept in. Constantopoulos. He's given, a, he's given an offside. No. Corner. Corner. Our view down there is a little obscured. Um. Piece of a cop makes his way off here in front of us. Obviously, an injury sustained, and um, we'll be disappointed with that. But uh, hopefully, nothing too serious, and he's only 
he's uh, able to recover quickly and back Good for that nasty was right in front of you. Yeah, no, that's why I was saying it quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Fergus Lynch with his first touches on the ball. Does well to be fair. Looks like, ball it's the looks like it's been a fairly si straight swap, hasn't it? For uh, one for one as uh I'll tell you what, I reckon that effort might have been on target from our angle. Yeah. Looking I'd for that top left. I'd agree with you. Too much on the pass there under pressure, clearly. He used his right, didn't he? Might have been better off using his left foot. Might, might be uncomfortable for him, and he might be feels a bit insecure about it. But um, using your right at an angle like that's a bit risky. Into the hands of. Cavanaugh, the number 13 in the FKB grad goal. I think quite a few good quality goal kickers. Jamie Signorello on the bench as their substitute. Not a bad one to have. Where's Cavanaugh going? <laughs> Dribble his way up the, <laughs> up the park. Jakobsen to Liam Bruno. That ball only to Paul Pezos. Booker touches it down. Oh, nearly a beautiful ball. Oh, nearly the perfect weight. Yeah, well claiming a pass back there, I think. Uh, but the uh, referee's not given that. Kavanaugh with the ball back at his feet again. Ball not working out initially. Tell you what, both sets of players really battling hard whenever either side loses the ball to yeah. try and win it back. As we see the ball on the right wing, ball in across the face of goal. Yeah, both teams are really in transition. They're just a, there's just a big fight on, on, by both sides to, w to win the ball back quickly. You know that five seconds after they've lost possession, uh, both sides are snapping at the heels to try and get the ball back. You know. Ball through. Yeah, like I think City have done a couple of their little chips over the top of the long through ball. You know, when um, normally not the long through ball seems a little bit unimaginative, but you can watch the two players running forward to it. They're starting the runs very early. So this is something that looks like it's um, maybe a training, be working on the training ground, you know, because it's, uh, it, it might come off. They've, it, it hasn't so far. I'll just wait for this. It hasn't so far, but um, there's been a couple of times where they've looked like they might get through and get something out of it. So, with Michael Jakobsen. Opposite. Play the ball across the defence. Neon Kuru now. Go 
Constantopoulos. Missing the header there. Few updates from around the grounds. Still 2 2 at South Adelaide. And just about to enter half time. 1 0 Adelaide Comets. But if it wasn't for the Knights, defensive solidness could be more. So Comets are 1 0. One one yeah. Dakota Oxenham. Cut out by Craig Shearer. Constantopoulos running against Abitu. Carried and cleared away. FKB grad putting a bit more pressure on Adelaide City now. Referee playing advantage after a little clip on the heels. Nice little spell here from FKB grad. They've uh, held on to possession quite well, haven't they? And, uh, and um, built their play up patiently. No rewards as yet, but uh, nice little five, ten minute spell from them. Oh. Pigeons flare slightly in these closing stages of the first half. I felt Sebastian Good's challenge was a bit heavy there. Uh, and if it had been on me, I think I might have taken the perception myself. There's the through ball again. Ball coming through, yep. And a few exclaims from the FKB grad bench about that one. So I reckon that's the fourth time. What it looks like the likes of uh, Laurie Latanzio and oh, a couple of the others, they set off. It's me, I was nearly us again. Um, <laughs> they set off in these runs. So the, the, the players at the back might have the ball, they look up, and then you see this run from the likes of Laurie Latanzio. And it's a, it's a straight run towards the goal. It's like a sprint. Uh, and I reckon that's the fourth time they've done it. Little chip over the top to try and run onto. Topsy turvy game going on down at South Adelaide after being 2 1 down. Adelaide Croatia Raiders have climbed back in the 70th minute to go 3 2 up. Oh, really? Through Oli Trimboli. 20 minutes to go down south. Still a whole half here to play of football. Booker. Ball in on the left foot. Yeah, it's a real winner. Takes all game down there, isn't it? Craig, be ready. Craig, yeah, be down ready. at um, South Adelaide. There's <laughs> always a bit, there's always a little bit of banter, isn't it? But it's, a, it's great to watch, Nick, isn't it? <laughs> so Nick Booker, the Adelaide City captain, he's, he's entertaining to watch. There's always a bit of banter with him and the fans as well. Gutierrez swinging the ball in. Dakota Oxnam's a long way off his line there. <laughs> Isn't he still at the centre circle? Another score update Mobry Jets 
down to 10, scoring an equaliser to get it to 1-1 in the 60th minute. There's a little run through the middle. Off the ball, Adelaide City players up front. They just do these little sprints. You probably didn't see it in the camera, but um, these little sprints, and then the, the players are looking just to the defensive, and the midfield players are looking just to chip it over the top. Entering additional time here at Adelaide City Park. That ball coming to nothing from Nick Fuko. minutes on to the end of this half as it stands nil nil going into the halftime break unless one side can break the deadlock FKB grad still with it now good turn Trimboli Leon Bruno Out wide with good. Ball to the back post to nowhere in particular. Yeah, Anthony Chimboli there with the cross there. The final ball wasn't great, but for a big guy, he must be about eight foot tall. Yeah, quick feet there, didn't he? He made the space quite well. Moved quickly, but uh, final ball, not quite right. Incredible turn of events down at South Adelaide. 3-3 three, three there now. A brace now from JJ right out. Lewis Laurie Latanzio. I think trying to pull off a skill or a trick, but nothing really coming of it. Yeah, that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? His first touch was superb to bring the ball down, and then, you know, you think maybe just get the cross in, but got his feet in the right piggledy piggledy nest, didn't he? Shame. But beautiful first touch. <laughs> Big header by Yared Abitat. Headed into the FK Bear Grab bench. Gutierrez takes the throw. nearing the halftime break. David, what have you made of this first half so far? Oh, look, uh, there hasn't been any goals and there hasn't been much in that final third as Craig Shearer gets the ball now. Oh. Actually, there's a shot there. I think uh, Dakota Oxenham, the Adelaide City keeper, almost had his back to him. But, uh, yeah. Um, halftime here at Adelaide City Park. Nil-nil. Adelaide City perhaps had a bit more opportunity, but they won't mind when all said and done, they'll want the three points instead. Yeah, look, I would say Adelaide City have been marginally the better of the two sides, uh, um, and they, they certainly seem to have threatened more, but uh, in that final third, neither team has really had uh, a strong effort and goal. I think there's been two half, half chances at either end, but uh, not much more than that. But um, a nice open game to watch, and I've enjoyed it. Half time here at Adelaide City Park. Nil nil in this one between the home side and FKB Grad. As we go to the break, Adelaide City nil. FKB Grad nil. Get 
your school holiday football fix these April school holidays. With tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au. It's never too late to improve your strength, balance, well-being and independence. Our Strength for Life program encourages all older South Australians to start moving and enjoy an active lifestyle, make friends, build strength and inevitably age well. Strength for Life sessions are offered in almost 100 locations across South Australia, with new sites opening all the time. Check out the COTA SA website to find your nearest location. Strength for Life is a individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community, um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life. Um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures. Get your school holiday football fix these April school holidays. With tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April school holiday camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au. I come to Australia end of 49. Finish up in Wyala for 12 months and then I settled in Adelaide end of 50. And then as a, a young fella when I saw all these other clubs with the soccer, the dancing group wasn't really good enough for me. Not enough. How should I say at entertainment? And then I had a couple of mates, and we talk about to form the Croatia Soccer Club because there used to be all these ethnic clubs.
Get your school holiday football fixed these April school holidays with tailored football development sessions for all. Filled with skills, games and fun from accredited coaches. With options of single days and multiple camp days. The Football South Australia April School Holiday Camps. Sign up now at footballsa.com.au And the future is orange for Stanford. Flinders are in the lead. Rachel Quigley. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Comments to 2023 20, Premiers. Saved by Pomeroy. They had to go the distance and then some. Strength for Life is an individualised program which is delivered in a group setting. We aim to keep older South Australians connected with their community. Um, preventing social isolation and also keeping their bodies strong, flexible, uh, managing falls and uh, keeping them engaged. We're super excited to be partnering with Football SA at this state-of-the-art location. It's a beautiful venue. It will really benefit the local community through the Northfield and Jeps Cross surrounding areas to be able to access Strength for Life um, and together we are working to improve everyone's futures. And it's Adelaide Croatia Raiders time! Right out, the top corner and it's in the end. A captain's contribution for Luke Klimek. Ready to end the stars for Nicholas Fucco. Oh, oh my god! Oh. It's another one for my project! It's maybe in Barbiero! Your NPL champions, Adelaide United.
Welcome back to the second half here at Adelaide City Park between FKB Grad and Adelaide City. Nil-nil at the halftime break. But good chances from both sides for the second half. I'm Seb O'Neill joined by David Grant. David, we want a goal, don't we? Oh, we do want a goal. The game's needed it. Um, there's been a couple of half chances for that first half, but... Uh, yeah, really, it needs a goal for the neutral observer. I mean, both both these sides lost their last league game, so neither of them will want to lose this one. They'll, want to, they'll both be looking to try and get something out of this game, but uh, well, they won't by doing that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, yeah, the game needs a goal. Not that it's been poor to watch. It's, oh, been, it's, been, a, it's been a great... It's been... It's been, I have to say, even very well contested great battles being but yeah just lacking that that goal yeah if you ask for a, side really if you want a, if you ask for a chocolate ice cream you want chocolate with it right <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just like a goal but it's been a, it's been a good game to watch it's been intense um we've seen some nice little passages of play and uh, certainly it's been entertaining i'd say that uh, beer guys back four have been uh, the busier of the two defensives um but uh, yeah, it's just missing that uh, that goal and uh, that, would, that would sort of spark it into life. But stay tuned; it will happen. I'm sure it will. Goals that all around the grounds, except here. <laughs> We've had <laughs> seven down at South Adelaide. Currently three four the way of Croatia Raiders with. South Adelaide, a man down, a goalkeeper down. In fact, red card to Lewis Moss in his 250th. 1-1. One, one. 250th game. 250th game, he's been sent off. What a way to mark it. 1-0 <laughs> at Adelaide Comets at Jeps Cross between them and Parry Hills Knights. And 1-1 one, one between Metro and Modbury with Modbury also a man down early on. But got that goal back actually after they had the player sent off. So done well to fight back. Here, though, still awaiting the first goal. Could be it here. Constantopoulos and Shearer over it. It'll be Craig Shearer to put the ball in. I was a bit disappointing, but I guess it kind of summed a bit of that first half up. You know, the, there's a good opportunity there, and then it just, nothing comes of it. You were busy at half time phoning up all the grounds, eh? <laughs> Asking everyone for the scores update. One of us had to. Ball over the top, Booker unable to get the touch. Another ball over the top. Adelaide City love doing that, don't they? All through that first half, it was uh, little balls over the top for the players to run on to, but uh, nothing came of them. But um, Big Rad will need to be on their toes to watch for that. As uh, Missionary. Missionary has the ball, yet. Missionary with it again on the byline. Blocked out for the corner. Full time down at South Adelaide. 4 3. The way of Adelaide Croatia Raiders in the end. Seemed like a game and a half that one. Game still happening. Comets now 2 0 up after the half time break against Parry Hills Knights. After scoring in. And that's at Parra Hills, isn't it? At um, Jets Cross, at Comets. Oh, Comets, right. So Parra Hills Knights are the visitors. It's throwing for FKB, Grad. Oh, 
Be great in this half. Going from left to right. Adelaide City right to left. Grad looking to get forward with the first goal. Constantopoulos. Leon Bruno getting it back to Jason Constantopoulos. We'll play all the way back to Michael Jakobsen. Substitutes readying up for FK Biograd. Yudai Koike, Maxim Ivanic. Make sure to keep an eye on Dan. Make sure to keep an eye on Dan Goni. Shira. Battling against Fergus Lynch. Yeah, that's you. Son. On the wide left, FKB grad slipping at one of the important moments. Be grab with two in the box in Shearer and Trimboli. Possible handball shouts there. Against Adelaide City. This game being played at a very high tempo. It is, it's a frenetic sort of pace, isn't it? Shearer with the ball now for FK Beograd. Harry Thomas wrestles possession and falls to Larry Latanzio. Turns over to Buko, the captain, number 10. And able to keep the ball there against Neon Kuru. Stop by Oxenham and he's held it as well, didn't just palm it aside, so that's a confident goalkeeping, isn't it? to the far side, Laurie Latanjo brings it down nicely looks back to Jan Gutierrez and the ball ends up with uh, Abitu as Adelaide City look to build on the left hand side having swapped over from the right slipping but I think offside there in the end anyway yeah 
and a substitution for both sides, it seems. Udai Koike to come on for FKB Agrad and Nicholas Francese. Craig Shearer coming off for FKB Agrad. Who's had a good game by and large. Yeah, he has, yeah. Looks to be a bit disappointed as he comes off, but yeah, no, he's putting a good shift. Maybe uh, the fact that they have managed to get a goal out of, uh, out of this in the, in the sort of what we are 55 minutes or so. Um, maybe, a bit, maybe a bit disappointed with that, but. Uh, what to be is Adelaide City's uh, substitutes out to join their uh, FK Beograd for a, a dual warm-up by the looks of it in the corner. Cavanaugh <laughs> <laughs> pushing his side up, going for the long kick. Definite foul there. Again, tempers flaring. Yeah, there's been a little bit of that, hasn't there, through this game? A little bit uh, of feistiness. Is that Jakobsen and Buko, is it? A little bit far away, but... Uh, A little bit of banter down the sidelines here, um, if you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd be a linesman, eh? Or a referee? These guys got to be commended, you know. <laughs> so much advice is given to them as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fans, you know, the staff, subs, always willing to offer their advice to the adjudicators. In the nicest way possible oh, as well, absolutely. all the time. Just helping them out. Reminding them of how many times a player's fouled another player. And just in case the people who are supposed to be watching it aren't watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Another score update from around the grounds. Power Hills Knights getting one back against Adelaide Comets, making it 2-1 through Lansana Smith in the 64th minute of play there at Jeps Cross. Not long left to go between Mobbury Jets and Metro Stars. Nearing the 90th minute there and 1-1 with Modbury a player down. Kick in the left hand side for Adelaide City here. Which Piscaneri will take. Delivered low, cleared away. Yeah, I think it was Anthony Trimboli that's cleared that way for FK Beograd, but um, ball came in very low, didn't it? So, dealt with again by that FK Beograd defence. But it's a corner to Adelaide City now. It looks like it's Piscinari to take it down in that corner. It's on the left-hand side. And he'll swing it in with his right. Ball swung in and headed away by Jakobsen. Still having to deal with it right in the corner. Chasing after it. Yarad Abachu. A former FK Beograd player as well. 
against his former side. Ball comes in. Back post, headed away. Nice piece of work with Nick Cucco down the left to get that cross in. It ended up with Laurie Latanzio, but um, again, FKB have got a pretty solid at the back. You know, there doesn't seem to be any way through for Adelaide City, so it, uh, the attack's broken down again. Although there's Kavanagh has uh, spilled the ball here as City try and build something at the, uh, in attack. A little slip there by uh, the dependable Kavanagh in goal for uh, FKB Grad. It's gone out for a corner. Our side. A little extended period of pressure here from Adelaide City. Let's see if they can capitalise on it. Poor corner. Very poor corner. Ball comes in again, however. Fergus Lynch came on as that early substitute for Peter Acott. Laurie Latanzio touches it down, but he's offside. Good period of possession, though, Adelaide City. Aren't they? They've held onto the ball really well. And, uh, but Beograd equal to the task at the back. Strong header from Yard Abitur. Yeah, good win. He's not playing. Hmm? He said good win. I said he's not playing. Oh, good win in the air, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Full time at TK Shadow Reserve. 1 1 draw in the end between Metro Stars and the Modbury Jets. Modbury playing almost the entire game, a man down. So well done to Modbury for doing that against the league winners from last year. Of course, played two amazing games over two legs, David, which yep. you were both at. Yep. Both of those legs. Great games to watch. Ball forward. FK Beergrad. Only parried away by Dakota Oxenham. It was, but it, you know, it was all he really needed to do because uh, he punched it into space. You know, I, it would have been interesting to see what he'd done if there had been Beograd players running into that space, if, you know, what his options would have been then. Good goalkeeping. into the hands of Kavanaugh. <laughs> Beograd still trying to get forward. Good defending though, City. They just kept them out. Nobody overcommitted and they just kept them out. Just kept them at bay, you know. Without committing to the f committing a foul or commit over committing themselves, so nice nice defending there.
still nil-nil here between these two sides. A part of this double header, of course, the game before between Adelaide City and Sturt Lions in the WNPL. Finish 4-0 the way of the home side. Some cracking goals in there. Yeah. That one as well, too, to be fair. Yeah, no, that was a good game to watch and um, plenty of goals as well. So, uh... And all that Sturt losing 4-0 definitely showed moments of quality in that one as well. Yeah, they'll, they'll get results eventually. It might just take them a little while. I think that's them um, had a 4-0 loss and a 4-0 loss, right? Two 4-0 losses. So they haven't scored and have conceded eight, which on paper doesn't look good at all. But they've shown signs that they're capable and I'm sure they'll get something eventually. They've just got to persist and not let these results get, get them down. just not coming together is it uh, that's another sign there that's been typical of both uh, of both sides they're just in that final third they get into the penalty box it just breaks down you know the build-up's good the midfield's good just getting into that final third it just sort of falls apart a little bit so um off to no one I think it was set good okay just putting a bit of pressure on Dakota Oxenham that ball was a bit of a disappointment wasn't it you know they played nicely at the back for the first well not the first time but um, played nicely at the back Oxenham looked good under pressure and then uh, the resultant ball just sort of went just uh, gave possession away, really. That's going to come our way, too. How many times have we nearly been hit tonight, David? Yeah, <laughs> you get my head in one of these <laughs> when it comes over. <laughs> so... Turned to throw the ball there, and uh, his opponent was uh, Nick. B and Nick Booker was uh, looked like he was ready to take it. Press on, being a bit tricky there, but didn't work out at all. Poor from Cavanaugh. <laughs> didn't get the connection he perhaps wanted. <laughs> That passage of play kind of summed the game up a little bit, <laughs> didn't it? You know, there's a, a poor through ball, unnecessarily f doing the fancy footwork, and then the goalkeeper slice clearance. Too much on that ball. On the far side. Backer Adelaide City. Yeah. 
Through Paul. Works out. Across the wide left from Nicholas Francese. Yeah, it was a good shot. I mean, he hit it, he hit it well, but uh, just off target. And it put uh, a good strike. Disappointing, isn't it? When uh, we're just, uh, I think a goal would make a difference to this match. And uh, disappointment it's missed. But um, good opportunity. It broke to him well, didn't it? Francese, was it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Ian Kuro and Fergus Lynch, that's fast feet, isn't it? As they kind of go at each other. Oh, another slice clearance. You wouldn't like to play golf with him. Be in the, be in the, rough, be in the rough every five minutes. <laughs> A little bit of a break for Bear Grand as they come forward now. Walking up the left. Anthony Triboli with it now. Back with Jason Constantopoulos. Attempts to play back to Neon Crew. Adelaide Comets 2-1 up against Parra Hills Knights but as I speak about to take a penalty to possibly make it 3-1 for Adelaide Comets Roberto Fernandez Garrido and Jaden Labasso getting the first two for Adelaide Comets from what it looks like, it's Fernandez Greta to take the penalty as well. On for a brace as well. Fernando who? Who's taking the penalty, sorry? Uh, Roberto Fernandez Greta has taken it and scored. Scored. In the 81st minute to give them a two-goal buffer against Parra Hills Knights. As we see changes... For FK Biograd. This is a commentator's nightmare, isn't it? When they make six substitutions at once. Maxim Ivanic was one of them. To be honest, other than that, couldn't really keep track. No, there's a lot there. So <laughs> Biograd have made three, I think. Didn't they? I thought it was two. I, th I thought three. <laughs> Adelaide City made one. Paddy Karachia came on. Yep. Nick Bucco's come off, I think. Alex Battistella's on for Adelaide City as well. I see number 20 there. We should have told them to hold off. We weren't ready. <laughs> one at a time, please. <laughs> Out for the Adelaide City corner. Coming in, headed away by Jakobsen. Back with 
Josh Cavanaugh. No, Battistel's done well there. He's uh, Rob. I mean, he's just on. He's full of uh, energy, isn't he? But uh, good chasing back and then he Rob possession. But Beograd have got it again. The building up on the left hand side into the penalty box. Goal might come. Cleared in the end, I think, by Karen Stokes for Adelaide City. So, uh, corner and another ball over in the building site. Comes in short. So Nicholas Bucco's off, so Juan Gutierrez now taking the throw. He's got the captain's armband on. Caraccia. And eventually ends up back with the goalkeeper Oxenham. Being pressed by Maxim Ivanic. They're playing it out the back a bit better, Adelaide City. Now that's uh, two or three times they've, in the second half that they've played it out, and they've looked a lot um, more comfortable in the ball, dealing with the pressure that um, Beograd's strikers are putting on them. Touch off. Referee playing advantage. Both of these sides wanting to get a goal in these final 10 minutes. You can hear in the voices of both coaching staff. Grad coaching staff not happy with the refereeing staff so far in this game. Adestella. I think, the I think they felt that the substitute, Maxim Ivanovic, who's come on for uh, FK Beograd, was being persistently fouled. But, um, I think that was what their complaint was. Close to entering the final 10 minutes here at Adelaide City Park. And you'd think at this stage, the one goal would do it. Great ball. Offside, however. <laughs> Ready, 
Cavanaugh. Right, Abishu wins out. Batistella. Unable to keep the ball in Brassan. Marco Jakobsen back on the ball. Yeah, the pace hasn't dropped off, has it? I mean, they're still playing at uh, 100 miles an hour. Um, there's been no sign of the pace dropping off at all. It's very fast. A little bit of space here in midfield now. Bressan looks to switch the ball over to the right. Good idea. Not executed well enough. Massimo Falco with the ball now. Koike. Back with Falco. Restarting from the back of FK Beograd in this final stages. Nearly all games from tonight wrapped up. Apart from this one, still at nil-nil. No real winner determined as of yet. Seems like Comets will come out. The winners at Jeps Cross against Parry Hills Knights. Croatia defeating South Adelaide 4-3 in Metro. Having a, a one-all draw with Modbury. But this one's still very much in the balance. You would think next school wins with this now. I think, you know, we're sort of moving into the last, what, five, ten, ten minutes. minutes? Yeah. There just hasn't been a sign that we, we, you know, I think if someone can get a goal now, it would be hard to see another team pull by. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. Ivanic getting the ball from Koike. Shouts for the penalty, but nothing heated as the ball over the top for Adelaide City. Touched on. Could this be the one? Yes. Oh, so frustrating. That's frust I mean, both both sides frustrated, but. Nobody could believe it. You know, the chances opened up like that, and uh, that looked like it was about four miles wide. letting the ball go for Adelaide City. Battistella battled off the ball well and fairly. Chased down by, I think, about three there. Was Lewic and now FK Biograd. Ivanic in the centre. Could this be the winner? Oh, what a Brilliant save. Oh, what a stop by Oxenham. What a save. Just hit past the post. In for a grandstand finish here. Might end up 5 all. <laughs> we can only dream. <laughs> well, I have a dream. Corner for Beograd in the far side. To be taken, I think, by Jason Constantopoulos. In swinger with his right. Oh, oh, corner. <laughs> Nearly gets through, to be fair, though. Yeah. Oh, great tackle. Look at that. And then again. River danced his way through that. Ball comes oh. in. Right into the hands of Oxenham at head height. That's it again. Great build up. Final ball. Poor. Gutierrez. Final ball, ball again. I think he tried the Poor. outside of the foot, but it didn't work out. Thinks he's. Uh, was it Luka Modric that does the outside of the boot? He does that a bit, doesn't he? Referee plays advantage. Well done there. Slipping on the ball is a vanish. Abitu. Lynch. Abitu. 
Ball comes in. Ball just into the centre for Oxenham. Five minutes left. Any goal here would make this place go off. Yeah. I think you're right. I think I think both sides as well as maybe even ourselves, dare I say it, <laughs> have been a little bit frustrated by this game. You know, it's been good to watch, but uh, it's deserving of at least a goal. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if one comes, I think you'll find that uh, the place will erupt. Either positively or negatively, depending on who scores. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who you're nearest. Ivanic tries to use footwork, unable to get past though. Gutierrez to Ballastella. He's trying to the outside the boot as well. What is that? Quite a few players yeah. have tried that tonight. This is a thing that they'd sit be doing in training. Everybody hit the ball with the outside of your foot, see what happens. Uh, if Opportunity here. It. He's onside. Just has to finish. And he does so. Is that the winner? Coming from Jason Constantopoulos against his former side. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. Money, money. Can't believe it. Oh. You couldn't write the script, could you? I mean, the game doesn't hasn't looked like it's good. There's going to be a goal in it, and then uh, what are we in there? How many minutes left? Five in minutes the to go. Eighty-eighth minute. Eighty-eighth minute. Oh. Just losing their man at the vital moment, Adelaide City. Jason Constantopoulos is completely free. Yeah. Completely free. All he had to do was finish, and he did it well bit of a lapse of concentration, you know, and it's really turned out to be a bit of a waterloo for Adelaide City, but, yeah, disappointing for them. But they've got a couple of minutes to try and get something back, haven't they? Maybe they'll get something back. They'll be, we're set up for a, I think you said it yourself, we're set up for a real grandstand last five minutes or so, aren't we? Last time I was here at least, it was Adelaide City versus Campbelltown, where Campbelltown went 1 0 up. Adelaide City got a penalty late, then scored a winner late on for only it to be disallowed. Oh. We've won Metro the League. The noise this played make, the noise this place make made when that goal went in was incredible. Only for it to be disallowed for, I think, handball it was in the end. Yeah. Mamma mia, what a night. <laughs> Adelaide City still fighting. What a way to cap it off if they can get one in. How long have we got, Seb? Do you know how many more minutes? Must only be what, a couple of minutes. Corner yeah, comes in now. Oh. Entering additional time now. 
What a time to score this would be if they can get something here. You know, somebody coming in, soaring like an eagle, making connection. Oh. Headed downwards. Oh. Well blocked. Good little strike for Batistella, but well blocked. FK Bigrad now on the counter. Koike making a massive run in. Instead, electing to just slow it down. A great win this will be for FKB Grad if they can pull this off. Last league game, having lost to South Adelaide. First game of the season was a bit of a, a, bit of a disaster against Metro Stars. Had two players sent off, including today's captain, Michael Jakobsen, in that one. Then coming back to get a 5 on winning inside League Olympic. Yeah, they've, they've got the balance right, haven't they? I mean, um, those first couple of games, South Adelaide and uh, FK Beograd, you know, you wonder what the early indication, I mean, you only play one or two games, you can't be too much into it, but it does make you think, goodness me, they're losing these games early on and losing them by, you know, fairly big margins, but they've come back, haven't they? Stay, both, both of them, because South Adelaide had a win tonight, right? And um, Croatia won tonight. Oh, did they? My apologies. 4-3. To be fair, that game was a bit top <laughs> well, that, that was the one. Wouldn't, wouldn't blame me for not remembering who won that one. The lead changed every three minutes. But, <laughs> but I guess the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, you, you look at these teams early on in, this, uh, early on in the season and you think, oh, you know, how are they going to... They're going to have to change things already. You know, they're only one or two games in and they already have to make changes to their structure or, or their... Sorry, I'll just wait for this as it comes out to... Fergus Lynch Fergus with this Lynch, one. Yeah. Then Battistella. Brassard! Oh, what a stop! Kavanagh makes some ends for his earlier slices, and he's. What a stop. He's kept. That could be the save that wins the game. You know, you talk about strikers, don't you? And w winning goals, but. That's some save by Kavanagh. That's. Uh, oh! Oxen handy for us. Oxen yeah. haven't got up, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> completely blindsided no, he's, he's, by the fact he, he went up. He sprinted up because I was talking about the goalkeepers when he did it. I'll, I'll just let you take this one, Seb, here. <laughs> oh. no, I, saw, I, I saw a flash of purple and that was it. Two big moments tonight. Oxenham save up here. Down low to his right. Gordon Banks-esque that was. And then Kavanaugh's <laughs> save up here at the top. You know, both goalkeepers have um, made crucial saves, you know. Forget about strikers. This has been a goalkeeper's game, this one. And Oxenham had almost had a chance to win it there from the corner. Had he made a decent connection with the ball, he couldn't quite get his feet right. Stays like this. Next up for Adelaide City to regroup is Croatia Raiders in round five, then Campbelltown, and then Modbury for FKB grad next week. They've got the immovable object that is Adelaide Comets at the moment. Yeah. Although they can see tonight actually from open play. Yes, for the first time. They've got Comets, Para Hills, and then a huge derby against Adelaide Croatia Raiders. Kevin Stokes takes a quick free kick with his goalkeeper Oxenham and then launches it forward. I think Kavanagh had that covered. I think the shots, uh, the shots come in. I think it was Nicholas Francesi that had the shot there, number twelve. But I think Kavanagh had it covered. Not long left until FKB Grad can secure the three points. Yes, Hope! Oh, come on, 
Entering what is the sixth minute of additional time. We have had a goal, we have had a few injuries, haven't we? But um, they're of course now. Full time at Adelaide City Park, 1 0 the way of FKP. Got a hard fought game and a hard fought win for the away side. And it was a late goal to win it. It was. Late. I think we waited 80 minutes for the game to come to, to life. It was entertaining enough to watch, but it was 80 minutes before we, we really got to see some exciting football, edge of your seat stuff. A lot of frustrating moments. I think both teams were probably a bit frustrated with it, and uh, Adelaide City were disappointed. They haven't got something out of it because uh, I think they were marginally the better of the two teams. You can say, say that, that now. They I'll they say it quietly because Grant did better sort of start walking away. Yeah, but I think Adelaide City were. You know, I mean, I, uh, I don't know if I've got stats up in the screen yet, but um, but a tight game. Ten shots in total to FKB Grad six. Only two on target for Adelaide City, but five of those six for Beograd on target, to be fair. So a lot yep. more accurate from Beograd. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I guess that's uh, the more shots you have on target, the more likely you are to get something out of it. And that's what's happened, albeit with minutes to go. But great last sort of five, ten minutes, wasn't it? Well, that's full time here at Adelaide City Park. David, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh, on thanks this. for having me, Seb. It's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> and what has been a, a cold, cold night. But we'll see you soon for more football action. Full time here at Adelaide City Park. The home side, Adelaide City nil. FKB grad one.